Maybe we'll see the real Talonasty we've been hearing so much about. Talonasty, very clever. What's up, Office fans? This one's gonna sting a little. Jim cheated on Pam. God. What are you thinking? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the show tried to hide it from you. Well, when did this happen and with whom? I'm so glad that you asked. Let's get into it. In season eight, a team including Jim, Stanley, Dwight, Ryan, Kelly, and Kathy went down to Florida to open the very first Sabre store. This is the future. One night after having a few drinks, flirting, bonding over a prank on Dwight, hmm. Is there a familiar pattern here? I love it. I want in. Jim retires to his room and Kathy follows shortly after. She shows up at his door with an excuse that the heat is being worked on in her room and that the staff is working on it. Jim acts super uncomfortable, won't even sit next to her. So? Doesn't even look at her when she bends over in front of him. That proves that he didn't cheat on Pam, right? Mm. Uh, well, you're wrong. Jim knows that there's cameras around. He's not stupid. Kathy, it's been great. Fun, normal. Here's the deal. That night wasn't the first night that they were in Florida. Incoming. Ugh. Not so fast. Jim and Kathy slept together prior. So awkward. We just need to have a conversation to clear the air and figure out what it is that we both want from this. And then she started acting a little bit crazy, and that's when things got weird. And then she went and worked real hard to get her doctorate in bunkers. And then after her internship at the Looney Bin, ended up working at the desk next to you. First and foremost, there's a deleted scene where Kathy admits to the camera that something happened between her and Jim and that they need to sort it out. So Jim and I had an experience in his hotel room. I think that kind of speaks for itself. Kathy, it's been great. Fun. Reason number two, the fact that Jim let her in his room in the first place. Uh, yeah, I'm just watching basketball. Okay. Why would a married faithful man let a woman who's in her underwear into his room to begin with? Why did she feel comfortable showing up in her underwear? Because she had already been there, because something had already happened. He clearly didn't feel like he could turn her away. Piece of evidence number three is that he doesn't sit on the bed next to her and he doesn't even look at her when she bends over. The reason he's pretending not to even see her when she bends over right in front of him isn't because he's being a good faithful Jim, it's because he's overcompensating because something already happened. Even the most faithful, devoted spouses in the world have eyes. There are other people who are in the world who are attractive and you can notice that and still be a faithful person. He's overcompensating because he is attracted to her because something did happen between them. He knows the cameras are there so he's putting on an act. And secondly, this part of it is so ridiculous because he doesn't sit next to her. Miami Heat actually, so. LeBron James. Yes, nice. <laughs> Good word association. <laughs> Jim's been sitting next to Kathy the entire time they've been in Florida. You're like, oh, what's more important? Dwight's question, figure out who's a VP. Dwight VP, Dwight VP. Dwight. The other elephant in the room is that Jim isn't happy. In season nine, we see that Jim and Pam have a huge falling out over him starting his own business in Philadelphia. Jim has never been happy at Dunder Mifflin. He's never wanted to just be a paper salesman. He's expressed that openly throughout the entirety of the show. I know how you spend your time here. I know how little you care about your job. Pam, on the other hand, is happy with a simple life living in Scranton. And they almost split up because of it. And Jim almost lost his business because of it. Jim stayed at Dunder Mifflin over and over again because of Pam. How could he not have some resentments towards her? Pam is kind of a bitch. The interesting part in all of this is that Jim cheating on Pam was in the original script, literally on the page. But John Krasinski refused to do it. He felt like it would push the audience too far. It would be a point of no return for Office fans. And he was right. The writers changed the episode. And guess what? The cheating is still there. It's just between the lines in the subtext. So what do you think? Did Jim really cheat on Pam? Let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you soon.